What's up everyone, Electronic Search here, back in another video. This is part two to the, um, powering on the Ademco Vista 10 SE panel. And towards the end, we blew a few, um, we didn't blow a fuse, we popped the GFCI. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna remove the... Um, the, um, what is it called? The external sounder because, because we don't really need it. This isn't going to be like an actual home security if it does work. The battery is still dead. The only way to charge the battery is by plugging the system in. And we know everything works. And we also found out that the other half of the house completely has no power either there's a short somewhere in the circuit or there's just no power going to it so, so we found out the keypad motion detector and basically every single window here in the living room has no power which means it does not work and i'm gonna see if i can try figuring it figuring it out why why it's um not working what is that wire what is that wire what is that brown brown wire what does that go to oh there's one right there okay so there's two brown wires actually okay oh this could just be the gas the heck it's cut off okay then oh then that's not gas okay so we don't have to worry about that i'm not sure why it's cut off um wait is it supposed to be cut off i'm not sure if it's supposed to be cut off it's kind of weird Oh, what is that right there? What is that white? Oh, that's probably, um, speaker. Most likely. Okay, so if you haven't figured it out yet, white wires are basically the windows, doors, motion detectors, etc. That, um, the white wires, like these one, like, Basically, like, white Ethernet cords. These carry all the connections. And the blue Ethernet cords, they're not Ethernet cords, I just call them that. See, there's one Ethernet cord. Again, not really an Ethernet cord. A blue, a blue wire, similar to a blue Ethernet cord, goes over there, and that's the keypad. And I also have another blue cord over here, which is... Which, right over here is the other keypad. And, as you can see, there is. And, as you can see, it goes in there. And that's the door contact. And then these two right here are the window contacts. And the rest is for the kitchen, the living room, etc. The kitchen is located about somewhere in this area. Let's see. Yeah, right here in this area. This is where the kitchen is. And I, I want to see if there are two white wires since there are two windows there in the kitchen. The boiler is still the same. We're actually starting to get... Oh, yeah, right there, right there. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that right there. I know I don't have my flashlight on, but... Yep, we found it's right there. You see that wire right there that goes over there. There it is, keeps going. And then it goes, it goes blank into the plot. Oh man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's, that's the kitchen. Okay, so. All right. And three, contacts three and four, I don't have the schematic thing right now, but it's three and four. 
And right here is three, pin number three. And this is the wire for the speaker, which goes into a white wire. And then I'm pretty sure this is ground. I mean negative. And it is. Okay, so we have to disconnect this red wire and this black wire to get rid of the to get rid of the external sounder. And if you're asking me why I want to get rid of the external sounder, again, it's not really going to be a home security system. So it doesn't need that much speakers and horns plugged up to it. Okay, let me see if I can try and find a short somewhere here. Okay, where's the wires? Okay, I see one right there. Where's the rest? Oh, right there. Right there. There's the rest. Okay, oh, uh, you can't really see it. Wait, where's the rest? Is the rest over here? The heck? There's only one. Oh, they probably travel on top of the AC vent. Yep. Yeah, they were traveling on the AC vent. There they are coming out. Okay, let's see. Okay, so one should be... Okay, well, there's the blue wire for the keypad. There is the wire for the, um... The door. I mean, not door. I mean, um... Window. That's the door right there. You can, you can kind of see there's a white wire up there. That's for the door. And see there's a hole right there. And it comes out through there and connects to the door contact. Okay, so we're still going. Okay. We have another window connection right there. Okay. We're gonna keep going. Here's another window connection. Okay, that goes to that window, and there's another window connection right there that goes to that window. And there should be four windows. There's four windows right here, which means there should be four lines going to each of the windows. Okay, so I see the wire going there. Okay. All right. Okay, so, oh, that's a problem. I don't seem to see a white wire over there. Oh, no, there's no white wire over there. Unless if this one is it. That one could be it. Okay, so there, okay, we got that. There's a window right there. Okay, right there, good. And there should be a window right there and a window right there. So let's see, okay, I see another one right there, okay, and there should be another one over here, that's not it, there, right there, I see it, there, right there, and that's the air conditioning, okay, so yeah, all the, all the window contacts have their have their proper cord just making sure because i did open up every single window on my first story so i can check the condition of the window contacts since for, they're from 2002 okay let's go ahead and unscrew this and remove the connections and then we're gonna plug it in again and we'll see what happens Okay, I disconnected both a negative and positive, um, negative and positive, um, cables from the board. And as you can see, it's this white cable, which I'm not gonna track where it goes. I'm just gonna, just gonna bend it here so I don't lose it. Just bend it here in place. And I'm gonna put it somewhere where I don't really need it. I'm going to just put it here in the internet box. No, not over there. Okay, maybe I can just take this wire out. How do I pull this wire out? 
Okay. Let me just run it through a knockout hole, actually. Right there, there's a knockout hole. Sorry if I'm putting the camera somewhere where you can't see me doing the panel work. And let's also hope the GFCI doesn't pop again. Okay, it won't fit two wires through there. Well, that sucks. Okay, well then let me just bend them, bend them again. And just put them in there. There we go. Okay, done. Alrighty. Okay, batteries connected. Put these window contacts in here. Okay, well, oh well. Alright, batteries hooked up and connected. Let's turn it on and let's hope the GFCI doesn't pop. And then we're gonna go upstairs and check out the keypad. Oh, I really hope the GFCI doesn't pop again. Alright, let me put the phone down. GFCI did not pop. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's good. Keypads are probably booting up right now. And I do hear a buzzing sound. Okay. Um, should we go upstairs and check it out? Yeah, okay. I will do that off cam though, so I can set everything up with privacy. So, thanks for watching. Oh, editing is extremely hard. Well, kind of. Anyways, what's up everyone? Well, actually not what's up everyone. It's The video has started like 15 minutes ago. And in the last scene, we discovered, um, well, um, at the beginning of the video, I should say, we disconnected the external sounder because we found out that, um, oh no, I think I've made a bad choice here. Yeah, see, this is why you don't pull out all kinds of wires. Please, no, no, I just want you to stay in there, that's it, thank you very much. Um, and then once I disconnected the external sounder, um, we found out why the system always would alarm, and that's what happened. We found out that it was a broken window contact on zone 06, right here. Um, according to the, uh, to the Ademco keypad, it said zone 6, and if we look at pins 15 and 16, which is right here, pin 
15 and 16, the system is unplugged, by the way, if you want to know. The battery is still dead. I, I, I don't, I, I can't charge this battery. The only way to charge this battery is by using this panel, but I can't use the panel because, because the panel always alarms, so that's what we have to do. Now, if you're wondering why the window contact is broken and stuff, um, it's because this house was made in the mid-2000s, which means this panel was installed exactly when the house was built, which means this battery, which is from 2002, is no longer working. It's fully dead because the system hasn't been powered on in, like, 25 years. Oh, and by the way, this is normal. That's normal. I, that's... That's how, that's how the panel came. I'm not sure why that wire's cut off, but that's, it, it's been like that once we got the panel. Um, it seems like a keypad wire. Maybe that's why the other keypad isn't working. And, um, if we're gonna disconnect that window contact, now let me show you why I'm gonna disconnect the window contact instead of fixing it and stuff. It's because that stuff is really old. Again, like I said, this house was built in the mid-2000s, which means all this stuff, these door contacts and window contacts, they've been all corroded. Some of them are new since mostly all the windows have not been opened. And right here is where that, where that window is located. Now take a look at this wire. See, someone pushed that wire down, and that's why um, it's not working. Because this is why you should never pull home security wires. Don't pull it first. See what it's connected to, and then pull it. And don't just pull it right away without knowing what it is. Because once you pull it, you don't know what it is, and you... Uh, and you um, end up breaking something like the window contact. And that's what the problem is. And it's also corroded, so I doubt it will be working again. And here's the two wires that we're going to have to disconnect. The positive wire with the resistor on it and the negative wire. These two, these two contacts right here. This keypad is fine. The keypad has nothing to do with this. It's just this wire. Which is this right here. And as you can see, it goes into there. Now you can see it's connected to two wires right here. Two wires which go to that side. They go over there, which means they go to the other side of the other side of the building, the house. Which is all, all the way over there where you saw me last time. And, um, to conserve space, to conserve space, what they did is they hooked up each window contact. Here's all the window contacts. Is that sound? What was that? What's that? Did you just fart? Did you just fart? It's all kinds of weird noises going on in here. But what I was saying is these all connect to window contacts. And I'm going to have to disconnect these two. Which means I'm going to have to disconnect two window contacts. And that's because this window contact that's broken is plugged into this one. Which is then plugged into the panel. So I basically have to get rid of this. Which then connects into this wire. Which then connects to the panel. Which is this positive and this negative. So these two we have to disconnect. There's that sound again. Who's farting?
Maybe it's the new neighbors, I'm not sure. That's kind of sus. So yeah, we're going to have to disconnect those wires, power on the panel, and see if it continues beeping. And let's hope the GFCI doesn't pop. Um, anyways, we're done with this scene. I'll get to the part when I'm going to be disconnecting the wires and powering on the panel. Then we have to wait a while for the D1 error message to, to go out. Now, if you're wondering what that means, that means the panel has just been powered on. Oh, Jesus Christ. And once, once the panel has been powered on, it has to go through its little, um, through its little checking thing over here. It, it's going to say D1, and then it takes about one through five minutes for that message to disappear. Once it disappears, that means the system is normal, and it's ready to arm, and you're ready to use the system. Now, since the si Really? What's this ant doing in here? What are you doing? Dude, you came to the wrong house. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of this ant later on. I'm pretty sure he just came out of the, the keypad. And once that message disappeared, I will get rid of the ant later on. Once that message disappeared, the system started going into into alarm mode because it detected the window contact that was broken and it thinks the window contact is open which it is not open it's closed of course but it's broken and corroded that's why the contacts can't connect in the system jesus christ and the system thinks that the window is open and goes into you into alarm so we're gonna have to disconnect that because someone pulled on the wires once they were installing it. Alright, and you're coming with me.